Can we proceed with learning outcome number three, supply chain management success factors? In today's competitive markets, companies must align their supply chains with the demands of the markets that they serve. Dell Incorporation offers one of the best examples of an extremely successful supply chain management system. Dell's highly efficient build to order business models enables it to deliver customized computer system quickly to their prospective customers. The companies deploy a supply chain tools to provide the global views of forecasted product demand and materials requirements, improve the factory scheduling and inventory management. Therefore, an organization should study industry best practices to improve their chances of successful implementation of supply chain management system. And the following are the keys to the supply chain management success. Number one is to make the sale to suppliers. Not only the people in the organization need to change the way they work, but also the people outside the organization like the supplier that is added to the network also must change. So organization need to make sure that the suppliers are on board with the benefits that the supply chain management system will provide. Number two is to win employees of the traditional business practices. Therefore, in order to make sure that the SAM system is success, an organization must convince the employees to use the new systems or application in their daily works so that they can perform better, more effective and efficient. And number three, ensure that the supply chain management system supports the organization goals. It is important to select a supply chain management software that give organization an advantage in the areas that most crucial to their business success. Number four, to deploy in incremental phases and measure and communicate the success. Instead of installing a complete supply chain management across the company, and all suppliers at once, the organization need to start by getting it working with a few key suppliers first and then move on to the other suppliers and to the other suppliers in the incremental phases. Berfasa. And along the way, make sure that each step is adding value through improvement in the supply chain performance. And last but not least, number five is to be future oriented. Supply chain design must anticipate the future state of the business. Managers need to explore how flexible the system will be when, not if changes are required in the futures. The key is to be certain that the software will meet future needs, not only the current needs. So as a conclusion, why company choose to have a good supply chain management system in their organization and the most top reason why organization choose supply chain management is proof that they want to reduce their costs and savings and it is also could improve their productivity and manage their inventory and at the same time improve visibility into demand and supply able to process cycle time reduction and quality improvements of their products and last but not least, to maintain and gain competitive advantage. And with that, we have uh, finished chapter 9. And see all of you again in the next chapter. Thank you very much.